We're back in Canada. Yeah, that was a rough one. But uh, let me just uh, share some of my thoughts. <laughs> right? Does this feel like another one of those walking to the uh, post office stories? Um, PAL, what an amazing organization. Uh, anybody who ever wants to go and hit that thing, you know, everybody knows uh, about Nemiroff World Cup. Like, it is a very high level of very professional arm wrestling. If you guys ever get a chance, you know, do it. Igor loves arm wrestling and pays attention to every single detail that attracts, you know, a very, very special part of the arm wrestling community. So, Dennis, you know how sometimes when you pull somebody, you're like, man, I would pull that guy tomorrow and it could be maybe a different outcome. Or sometimes you're like, I am like three months away or half a year from now, I, could, I know I could beat that guy. Well, I got, I got a real taste, you know, of, of everything that Dennis is. And I'll tell you, I don't know if I'll ever beat that guy. Like, left-handed. I mean, right-handed, I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, mad respect, okay? Uh, his strength is something that I have not ever felt before. Nobody in my life has been able to hold me the way Dennis has. Very impressive. He gave me a lot and let me work. Uh, and what a smart guy, you know? I hear people say, oh, he's strong, but let me tell you, I watch the guy so close. Uh, everything that comes out of his mouth, everything that he does is very calculated. He is a great, friendly human being who's, uh, you know, who's very peaceful uh, in nature. He, uh, he made me remember, you know, that we watched so many movies growing up, you know, about East versus West propaganda or, you know, just the visionary movies between cultures. It's really not what I experienced at all from Dennis or any of the cultures, you know, when you come together. Uh, everybody was just so awesome and uh, they just wanted to help, right? Uh, so, Dennis's good buddy Babkin, uh, he says to me, let me tell you a story about an old eagle. And right away I'm like, damn it. <laughs> uh, so it's always, it's always important to look, look at what you're doing and just refine it. So as much as, as much as I love losing, you know, there comes a point in your career, I guess, when you got to lose a bit. And you can decide what you do with it. And I love the information that I get, you know. Uh, and then talking to so many other people in the community, I, I, I really love the Swedes. <laughs> and uh, some of these people are just so open, you know. Had a good sit around talking to this one guy. Man, you know, just crazy ideas, you know, really, really neat stuff to try and sift through. And he's like, You just gotta just be breaking people, you know, very simple. He's like, Don't you don't do anything else if you want to win. He's like, If, anyways, <laughs> long story, but uh, 
it's good when the cultures meet. The thing that I noticed most about what's different between them and us in terms of what do they have on us, it's how well they understand strength. <laughs>